Hold on a sec, sir. I found an envelope addressed to Meldasio inside the package. Meldasio? The Hunter HQ? Yes, sir. The head hunter ought to be around here somewhere. Mind making one more delivery? What do you say, Noct? Might as well while we're in the neighborhood. Look who it is. I really owe you boys one. Make that two. <laughs> Can't seem to catch a break. Yeah. yeah, looks like they found another one. Wait, uh... Found another what? Tag. Us hunters keep them on our person at all times as identification. What? In case you forget who you are? More like so no one else forgets who they were. Hunters lead a life of danger. Sometimes these tags are the only things that make it back in one piece. It's our job to deliver them to the families of the fallen. As it were, I came out here to do just that. <sighs> if y'all happen to find any tags lying around out there, would you do me a favor and send them my way? Yeah, sure. Word is, somebody spotted a tag around these parts. Try asking the local tipster. He'll point you in the right direction. <laughs> Those tags are heavy stuff. They certainly carry emotional weight. We'd best find and return them. And give the families peace of mind. Let's start by following up on that hot tip. I'd get in a horse. Welcome to the crow's nest. You boys must be hungry. Happy to tell you about the area. Thanks for your business. Time. Gladio, come on. Gotcha. Ah! Ah! Not 
the time for horseplay! My hand slipped. <sighs> Man, it's hot. Then lose the jacket. It came from there. Maybe... this way? Huh. I'll go in first and stop him. You follow. I'm more of a leader. Not today you're not. Let's go. Huh. What are we looking at? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting gain from the safety and comfort of burrows. That's a bit heartless. Yeah, don't think you can do Ah, not. She says nothing. Right? Nothing. Hold it up, okay? My pleasure. Last one's just for you. No big deal. None the worse for wear. Found one already, huh? You done good. Just picking up the pieces, I guess. Well, try to keep your spirits up. Even though I ain't one to talk, I beat myself up over the lives of the hunters I couldn't save. That's what each one of these tags means to me. They hurt. But if I let that grief keep me from looking for them, then their tags and their lives will be forgotten forever. And that'd hurt more than anything. Yeah, guess you're right. Well, that's why I tell all my hunters to collect any tag they see, and I expect you boys to go out and do the same. Everything in order? Yep. All right. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express 
the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island though. They go to kick back and get massages. And say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Hey, Nox, why don't we sleep there? They got something special? Ah, uh, a safe place to spend the night? The demons will be coming out any minute. Yeah, whatever. Woohoo! You heard him, Ignis? Yes, loud and clear. It's real pretty here at night. And yet, by all accounts, it pales in comparison to old Tisha. Seriously? Ready to set sail. Just got a fun. A feature on the wedding. And get a load of Lady Luna Freya's dress. That's some fancy fabric work. Bet the groom can't wait to see it on his bride to be. Uh, he's not the only one. She's gonna be an absolute knockout. The dress is bespoke, of course, and comes courtesy of one of Altitia's foremost fashion designers. <laughs> Bet the food's gonna be pretty damn fancy, too. Eh, <sighs> as long as it's something I can eat, as opposed to dissect. Ugh, royally embarrassing. Can't wait to taste some Altitian seafood. Hello and welcome. We hope to see you again.
It's bedtime. Huh. a really good shot. <laughs> I made sure I got the regalia's good side. Morning. Sup? What's all this about the port closing? <sighs> Some kind of holdup in Altitia. Guess we have to stay another night. Is this place amazing or what? The breeze is quite refreshing. Didn't think I'd enjoy the seaside this much. Well, it sounds like it's made a good first impression. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> 